So not a lot has changed, as you can see on the on the list of viewers that we're working with. Uh, HTTP coroutines and voice, the maintenance, the current maintenance viewer, and graphics quick preferences. One of the things that has changed is that all of them have gotten uh, at least a couple of updates since last time. Uh, quick graphics just a few minutes ago. So, uh, and they are all now actually uh, in our statistics doing better than the current release viewer. So, there's a high probability that one of them will be the next release viewer and that that will happen early next week. Uh, and that decision will be made early next week. So, uh, after we've seen the weekend numbers. So that's all coming together pretty well. I don't think that the next one will be quick graphics because there's at least one more fix that I want in that before we release it uh, as a default viewer, but it's, uh, it's far closer than it has been before. Um, so feel free to check out any of those that look good to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, the Rift viewer, we continue doing some work on, but we're having trouble with some of their new SDKs. So um, we're, we have not given up. We are going to make it work, but it's, it's proving to be non-trivial. Uh, and the, uh, the Bento viewer is perilously close to having a final skeleton definition. We're playing with some of the sliders and determining which ones we can, we can make apply to the new bones. Uh, and then that will, um, that will move forward to the just fix bugs stage. Uh, so we're, we're, we're making progress on Bento, but it's, uh, it's, it, it is not in danger of being released generally real soon. So, uh, and I think that's, I think that's all the news I've got today. Uh, so the floor is open. But we do have a special guest um, who is hiding on the floor um, in cat form. He's here <laughs> to talk about um, our TLS and uh, what this means for our viewers and yours. Yeah, absolutely. My name is B. Hugh, and um, I just have a public service announcement to give really quick, if I may. Um, I just wanted to ask if everybody could please uh, verify that your viewers are able to support TLS 1.2. Um, we're internally actively working on removing support for prior versions of TLS 1.1 and prior. Um, and uh, Which that's all I really have. Of SSL. Yes, correct. So, and. Uh, and that is in support of um, compliance requirements and security around, especially around your money, uh, your Linden dollars and so forth. So, and of course, real world dollars. So uh, once we finish pulling the trigger on removing support, you won't be able to do any of those things unless your viewer supports 1.2. TLS 1.2. Okay. And a bunch of other stuff, too, probably, but since we'll just turn it off everywhere. Okay. Uh, just as a heads up, we will on our next release, which is tentatively scheduled for uh, uh, the 16th, which is next Wednesday. That's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, and what that's probably going to mean is that you're, in effect, going to need to be more aggressive about um, 
telling your users to upgrade to that. Um, we'll we'll give you another heads up when the when the cutoff dates are getting closer. Um, but cool. uh, you know what you'll what you'll end up having to do is say move to this version or your old stuff will not work. Yeah, so if you haven't updated in a while, make sure that you do that. If you if you merge up as far as our current default release, 401, you will be good. Oh, we do know how much work it is when a new viewer comes out. I have an unrelated question to throw at Grumpity I've been instructed by Jess to ask. Okay. Uh, I didn't do it. Um, that's just wondering if you have any uh, potential ETA for the Red JPI. Um, yes. Uh, the new Red JPI, which... Uh, works better but has the same feature set is going to go out oh i'd say in march maybe early april um there are additional features which are not going to go out with it um so the additional features that we've been waiting for are going to take a few more cycles um and obviously as usual we won't commit to any dates but i'd say Really soon? It's super close. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and the the other thing that got mentioned is that we are actually cutting off the old RSS stream and moving uh, for the support uh, RSS for feed. The Support RSS feed or for the status that's, blog? That's what it, that's the status blog. Uh, so that yep, it's the status blog. Right. Hi, that's Stephen. Yeah. Um, so I was here many many months ago to talk about this, and we're actually moving forward with this slowly. Uh, I do have a. URL for the new feed format. When we cut over to the new uh, hosting site, we, along with our uh, all of our other knowledge base articles, the RSS feed format is going to change. So those of you that have viewers that poll the status blog RSS feed, uh, it may end up breaking if you don't check against that URL to make sure it still works. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have an ETA right now. Uh, I just sent a dump of the database information off to the hosting provider so they can load it onto their staging. And then once I know how that has gone, I'll be able to report back with an uh, ETA later. I'm hoping we can do it sometime like middle of April, if not before. But you should be testing against the URL he just posted to make sure that you can understand it. Uh, yes, that that's the that format, feed that's is the format that the new yeah. one will be. That feed is from our last go around at doing this. The URLs will not change, no, because we'll just uh, point our uh, DNS at the new location. So the feed format shouldn't change. Uh, sorry, the feed URL shouldn't change, rather. And, geez, awfully quiet. 
It's a really nice day outside. You guys could just all let me go and play outside. But then that would be making it easy. It is such a pleasant day after it's been all cold this winter. I have to say, it's nice to see the snow going away. It's sunny, Here's and I can have the windows up. It's... I, I don't even have any ice left on my pond. Nothing. It's 60-something out there. Yes. This is... This is what I call stupid season, when the fire department and the police have to go out and rescue people who have fallen through the ice that's been melting for weeks. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cinder, I will take a look at integrating that on the next spin of Quick Graphics, uh, if I can. The um, I have one other fix, and then of course I will have to merge whichever of the other two ends up being the, the new release probably next week. So I'll, I, I did see that notice. So you guys planning the release of bring lost the end of that question. Uh, you guys planning to release a viewer anytime soon? Yeah, ne probably next week. One of either the current maintenance stream or the current HTTP viewer will be promoted to the default. No, oh, not both. Both sounds awful. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. If we don't come up with something else, it's going to get all sorts of time back and enjoy this beautiful day. We can't have that happening, can we? Well, it did stop so, raining here for the first time in the last eight hours, so even I could get some vitamin D. See, see, and I just get to fix fun bugs, like broken audio engine. Um, yay. I hate my day. Uh, in other news, the project to do 64-bit support for the viewer is cranking along at a furious pace. So uh, we we may even have project viewers in the next couple of weeks. So it's not going to take a year, like the toolchain update. Uh, no, mostly because of the toolchain update, we we uh, we did enough cleanup in our process that we're we're not having to do as much ugliness this time around. So, and we're making further improvements in the process so that the next chain change will be even easier. So, if nothing else, we because Auto Build 1.0 gives us all the dependencies for each package accurately, uh, we have been able to do them all in the uh, in a in an order that doesn't involve backtracking. Uh, which is much more efficient than doing it the other way. Yes. Until you discover that you accidentally broke Zlib and then it turns into, oh god, I have to rebuild everything. Yeah, well, Zlib, right, one of the compile switches was wrong. But pretty straightforward to just fix it and recompile everything in the right order again. So <laughs> but we're, we're, we're getting there. We have not done the update to Havoc support yet. Um, and that one may take a little time, but because um, we have to 
do some work with. Are you guys them. planning a we're happy cup day anytime soon? Uh, not on the simulator side. Oh. It's not on the short-term list. Right now, on the simulator side, we're mostly focused on getting a, a few um, the, the usual stream of anti-griefing fixes and um, and and getting it ported to Wheezy. Oh, I, I fixed a bug in the audio engine yesterday. It was fun. It also Maybe. fixes the denial of service in the audio engine. Well, we'll have to see that one. Yeah, it's interesting. Me and Cheryl made some assumptions that were slightly wrong in regards to how FMOD handles its virtual channels. Right, well, we we should take the time probably as part of the 64-bit upgrade um, but after we've got it working with the current stuff to give FMOD Studio a try and see if it's time to just move forward. On it, it, it works pretty well. Uh, we have been using it for eight, nine months. Eight or nine months. No, no, those are fixed now. If they don't break them again. Don't release it, don't worry. When I stop playing video games. Uh, we have working surround sound support. And... Plenty of other fun things. And they have broken the wind. They have broken wind five times. And it makes me very sad every time. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, um, before I disappear, any other questions or any questions at all about TLS support? Uh, wait, what's Concerns, that? issues? Uh, not from me. Oh, wait, TLS support. Oh, I have no questions. Okay, well, I think it's going to be a short one today. Amaze. Yay, we got time off. What? Time off? That's a thing? I will see you all in two weeks. Have a great one. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.